why you have chosen to do this work in international cooperation activities? Um, I was a nurse for uh, 15 years in my country. And um, I was always interested in humanitarian aid. And with emergency, I, I thought that this was something that potentially is really something that I would be interested in. Because it's what I do and what I know how to do. And really I can offer uh, a lot of assistance in training people. And, uh, you know, I, I know the work. And, uh, and so I thought that um, this was something that I could uh, really offer. You know, to what, what I've learned all these years, that I can pass it over. I guess uh, also there is the there's many different humanitarian programs and um, there's a lot of ways that you can help uh, countries that are developing. But for me personally, as uh, a nurse, this was the one that I think suits me most. It's not only the intentions to help because the best intentions sometimes they are not enough. I mean. Uh, I, I don't agree with coming to do something better than nothing. Uh, I agree in coming to do something good. It's a difficult environment, it is a, a team living and working, so all day you're with the same people and you have to, you have to compromise in certain things. It's a lot of work. Um, I don't know, it's worth, it's worth trying if uh, anybody believes that they would like to try something like this or to do something like this. There is a lot of, uh, it's, it's difficult, I, I really don't have a question even to myself uh, answered, you know. Because uh, even in my ICU, you know, I, I worked for a long time and there is moments that uh, there will be a patient that will say to you, thank you. And it will be a thank you, you know. I mean, even if it's just a cool sip of water, you know. So it's the, the, the what you offer as a nurse, it's the same, either here or either there. But if you have the opportunity, you know, if you have uh, the, the ability, like uh, also the social ability, yeah, then why not, then you should. Yeah.